this video, I'm gonna be fishing on Parksville Lake, also known as the Coey Lake, just a few minutes down the road from my house. Beautiful mountainous lake on the Okoye River system. Starting off fishing this evening on my friend Ronnie's boat. Second part is gonna be on kayaks. Uh, start out with my little confidence lure. Yeah, yeah. I usually when I go on the lake, I'll, I'll I'll try to go through a few different lures, and then I just go back to what I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> if I figured out on something else. Yeah, um, you're, you're that, yeah, I'm trying to change up and do something different. Hey, that was, that was more than oh, there you go. That was a top water came through for us. I was about looking off. I didn't hardly see it. <laughs> he's digging, ain't he? Oh, yeah, he's digging. He's thinking he's big anyway. <laughs> well, all right. We, go. we got that take care of. Now we got, we got a fish in the boat. We're going to catch, catch some fish. Now it's on. Cruising. Come on, there, The back's gonna hit that uh, yeah, okay. rock. But... Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, that's a big one. Oh, it's gonna keep me on that log. That's a big fish. That's a really big fish. That man is a silver neck to see that log. Oh, don't break off. He's in that tree right there. Well, he, he don't break. So. Oh, he's under the log. No, 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 no. There he comes. Here. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. No, he's on. He's on. Oh. He threw my lure off, but he's still on. No, no, no. no. It's at least a four pounder. Oh my goodness, that spot is fired up. It? Yeah, you got one? Yeah, if I can get it out. Dude, uh, that may be a five pounder. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's in a tree, he's in a tree, he's in a tree. Don't break, don't break. He's right there, he's right there. Don't come off after all this, he's right there. Oh. Can you scoop that? He's in, he's in that tree, but if you can get him, then I'll get him out of that tree. Ooh. What happened here? There we go. He's right, he's right underneath us. No, 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 no. Can you get him out here? Yes! Are you oh! Here? That's get, a good one. Get your camera on. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, first fish today. We talked about getting the big one, didn't we? <laughs> You said you were going to get it. We, we might not get many. Oh, the yum dinger came through again. All right, I got that other. All right, hold on. It's on zero. Four pounds even. Yeah. He's two inches. He's, he's probably 20, ain't he? Yeah, yeah, he's a good 20. All right, dude. Four pound, 20 inch spotted bass. We'll go ahead and get him back in the water here. Big old fish. Thank you. <laughs> I put me another young deer on him. I put me another cat. They're just crammed in here. Yeah. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, he's back on. It, it hit and it came off, it came back. Yeah, it's chasing them minnows in here. Oh, my drags are loose. I thought it was tight. No wonder my missed him. Oh, nice. <laughs> that 
That's not bad to follow up that other one. Back in here, same thing as that other, same uh, pattern as the other ones. We got back in this creek after um, we fished, we went, went fish back in the creek, caught that big one, ran around the lake, came in here. When we got back in here, we saw some fish busting. A little bad, about a 15 inch right there. Hey, I'm back. So it's been like a week since I was Ronnie on his boat and we were at the other end of Parksville Lake. Today, me and Julio are gonna put in on, on the kayaks right where the current is still flowing into the lake. And so this is the total opposite end of the lake and it's also like kind of river-ish area and we're gonna float down through here. I think it's gonna be a fun day. Um, the fish have been biting in the rivers and everywhere pretty good. So hopefully we get on some stuff here. Julio's yeah. uh, everyday angler over here. And- uh, um, Best fly fishing YouTuber in the Chattanooga area. Yes, that's right. <laughs> And he's he's gonna try fly fishing some, also try and spin some, but uh, he's gonna be using my other old town kayak. He's never been in a pedal drive, so kind of get a yeah. maybe get a little review at the end. I just want to see what he thinks about it. But we've been messing around in here too much time. It's time to get in the water. How comfortable do you feel? Pretty yeah. Nice. That's a good start right there. I threw top water for a little bit, then I switched to the spinnerbait. I may go back to the top water as I'm getting closer to these shoals. They may be more aggressive. Got about 12 inch spot. About 12 inches, yeah. Fish number one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, there's another big one with it. Dude, they're up here. I got a good one and I got a follower. On a spinner bait. Man, these guys are chunky. They're up here eating. Got hammered a spinner bait. Now should I, I want to switch and try a hot top water, but should I switch from the spinner bait? Noisy right here on the side of this road. This guy is about 15 inches, so good 15 inch by the best. Oh! Oh, I see him right there! You hear that? He just popped out at my top water. Probably would have caught him if I had a spinner bait. There's like, light, there's like layers right here. It's really cool. These rocks just kind of taper off. Why is my thing not spinning right? Ah, I can't wear these glasses. I know, they keep fogging up. Can't see nothing. You think we can get up to that next, next, uh... Dude, we gotta do it. We gotta go up to that next, uh, shoal. Oh, came off. Ah, they're up here. Oh, wow. Whoa, I got a big one. <laughs> Who are we thinking of? It's 
pretty good one. Pretty good one. He is fighting. He won't stop. Here he comes, here he comes. Yeah. I was just thinking, maybe I should switch to the Yumdinger. It's a little deep section through here. I'm getting bites on spinnerbait, but a lot of times when I switch to the Yumdinger, I pull out some, a bigger one or something, and that's what happened. <laughs> oh, the biggest one of the trip so far. Not a, not a monster compared to what could be in here. It's a good fish. Uh, 16 and three quarters. Man, he fought so hard. 16 and three quarters. Dude, this is what a start to the day. Which one should I? Let it sit longer. I just hooked another one. Dude, that's a long one. He's longer than that last one. Part of fishing this lure, and that's noisy right here. Part of fishing this lure is being really patient is why I think I get fish so much, or why I have so much confidence in it, but also the reason why I'm catching them. Okay, that's probably another, that's probably 15 and a half, 16 inch. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, that's how it does. I'm making a believer out of Julio. Uh, yeah, you were right. I thought I was snagged. Look how soft a bite it is, isn't it? That's pretty nice one. Oh yeah. I might break my PB today. My PB was on the on the Conestoga that one time, like 17 and a half or something. Oh, that's probably what 16. Right, Let's go ahead. Go ahead and do what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, Julio's got the same problem I have. It make our big hands make the fish look small. Yeah. <laughs> we both are big guys, so we make them. That's a good fish though. I really don't measure my fish too much, so I couldn't. He's right at 15. 15, okay. Or, fork of the tail, 15. Boom! Oh, oh, he's on, he's on. Yeah, they're in here. A little spot. We're gonna go back and forth. Different lures, probably. Dude, what a cool area this is right here. Look at that big drop. At the end, at the end of all the rapids, really of the Akoi River, and uh, it just looks really cool. Never been here before on a floating or kayaking or anything. The road's right there, so it's a little noisy, but it's also like a deep uh, channel kind of through here. So I think uh, I think we're gonna spend some time and catch a bunch of fish up here. Oh, oh, I missed it. That's something. I may switch to a crankbait. At I ain't got if I, at the end here, but I don't know. I'm gonna hold on to the spinnerbait for a while. I wonder what time the water comes up. The currents. I feel like it's getting stronger, but I think I'm just getting in the current. Is it coming up? Yeah. That's good. Maybe there's something up here. Oh yeah, it's, it's coming up. Oh yeah, so we got here. Perfect timing, the water's uh, starting to rise. I'm watching these rocks over here and they're going down, but we're just gonna float back down, so it ain't no big deal. Dude! Another good one. Super slow. Yeah, right on the bank. Oh, wow, he is strong. This may be the biggest one. Let around here and get a look at this guy. Oh, it's a good fish. He was right on the bank. He was pushed up off the bank. Look good. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna stop fighting. Oh yes. Oh, it's a beast. 17 inches.
Dude, they are just hungry and feedy. That's a good, good bass right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, big large mouth. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Oh, I got a bite in a minute. I was on a chatterbait. Oh yeah, nice large mouth right there. Another one is melee chatterbait lure. There you go. Probably uh, I don't know. So he, he's got a big body on him. Let's see how long it is. I'd say he's a two pound and 16 inches. So he's thick. Ooh, 16 and a quarter. Probably close to two pounds. Yeah, that should be about right. Nice. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh yeah, he was right on the bank. He hit it right when it hit the water. Oh, that's a large man. Oh, <laughs> this dude is like short and stop. He wasn't even hooked. Short and stocky. Look how black that tail is. <laughs> He's taking off with it. Another largemouth. Man, the largemouth are up all around right here. I switched to the black swimming nigger. He's trying to get me wet. Man, these are healthy guys. They're all about 15, 15, 16 inch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the second time I made like a really good skip cast. <laughs> Bounced all the way back, and I lost the fish that was there. Oh man, that just shows you they are hiding though. Those fish hide probably in so many places where I can't even get a cast. Anywhere as far back out of the way they can get, a little dark area. Ah, there's gotta be one through here. This gets into a little rockier ledge. Got a bunch of trees, debris. There it is. Oh, he's digging. Oh my. How did he come off? He must have, I don't know if he was hooked or what. That was a good fish. He was going straight down and he came out. So that's two, like right here that I missed. Let me retie. Oh no. Oh man. You know those little line cutters that have like the little cord that you're supposed to hook to something? Well, I didn't hook the cord nothing. Dropped it in and went straight down. I thought they would have floated, but they don't. Man, that was a good day. The bass were biting. And they were up in the current. I'm glad we decided to go up the current and up the river part and fish it. Because as we got back down to the lake, the, the bite kind of died down. 
but that's something I, I never tried before and now I definitely want to do again definitely got to kind of find it when it's um on the right level I think the lower the the lower the water is the further I can get up in there the higher it gets it might the bite may be better but that current will push me back down so that was a fun time on the kayak I gotta ask Julio what he thought about kayaking today and you have to go watch this video to see what lure he used I may have had an influence on his lure selection all right so if you don't know it's Julio the everyday angler but um so you got to go out Thankfully, Old Town sent me this kayak, so I get to let other people use them and try them out, and hopefully let other people have fun with them. But, uh, so give me a rundown of what you thought about it and how you felt out there. Well, I have only been in, like, the nicest Walmart kayak you could ever <laughs> buy before. So, uh, definitely, I've never been in a kayak that you can stand up in. I mean, it took me about five minutes to really get used to it, and, yeah, you can definitely stand up. I made a few casts with my fly rod. Like, that's a lot of movement. It was really stable. Uh... The motor system is awesome from just, you know, like if you just want to skip over a bunch of water that you think is going to be unproductive. But that little 10 footer, I mean, you can pretty much get it anywhere. I will say a lot of people don't talk about this, but I was honestly impressed with how light it was when both of those picked it up. I was really expecting that to be a lot heavier, but. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Head over to Julio, the Everyday Anglers channel. He's uh, down around Chattanooga area, but not too far away from me. We get up and try to do some fishing. Just got monetized. He's rolling. He's over a thousand subscribers and uh, putting out some good fishing videos. And I think he caught some fish today. So I got to go back and see what he caught. I was kind of a little bit of away from uh, some of the fish. One of them he ran to about three trees on. I, I did see that one. So it was definitely exciting. So I appreciate everybody.